connection was basically never established between me and any kind of parental figure. I never knew my father anyway, but even the stepfather that I had. And my mother was quite stressed and overwhelmed and always doing everything. So she nurtured us in the, in a way that was just like provide and just make sure that we have our needs met, like our physical, biological needs met. But she didn't have a lot left emotionally most of the time. And in fact, she was like quite reactive and emotional and um, it was hard. There was no connection that felt safe. There was no connection that felt nurturing emotionally. Like we had everything that we needed physically, biologically, but there was not a lot of emotional availability. And there certainly wasn't this transfer of knowledge from one generation to the next where like I now have the instructions for how to embark on this journey as a human being. And I remember in the past, like I've said things like life doesn't come with instructions. The instructions come from the lived experience of your ancestors kind of thing and the knowledge that's passed down. And in like modern society, like most cultures don't have a lot of that anymore. I never had the instructions handed down to me. So I had to basically reinvent the wheel. And what that looks like in my youth was attracting a whole bunch of other people that had no instructions that had no guidance or mentors in their lives that were actually teaching them how to proceed. And we all just acknowledged that about each other. Like we're all a bunch of ups. Like it's a big funny joke and we're just going to uh, embrace chaos and embrace like the nonsense and absurdity of having no clue what you're doing here. And even to the point where one chapter of my life, I got fascinated with absurdism itself. And I was like, this, like life is just absurd. And then another chapter of my life, I said, uh, like life is just chaos. And I just got really fascinated with chaos. There is a benefit here as well that I do want to acknowledge. And that's that because nobody told me how life is, nobody programmed me with their own assumptions and beliefs about how to live life. I did get to explore for myself and find the pros and cons of all these different things. But I feel like there's, I would love a balance. Like I'm, I'm not like regretting the past or wishing things were different or anything. I'm just like contemplating this and acknowledging this. I wish that like, <laughs> I even said I wish. Okay. So a big part of me does wish that I could have just moved through life and like somebody could have told me or like people could, like I could have had that connection available where I could always go back to and go like, what about this? What about that? And they could tell me what their ideas about the world were and like what would be the their best course of action. And then I could go away with their knowledge and my own empirical evidence from my own experiences and make a, an informed decision from within myself. Like, okay, like just with the guidance, and my own experience, I could make decisions instead of just like my raw data coming in from everything that's going on and no idea about any of it. Like as a young like adult, my adulthood started, um, it kind of like double, like there was like two stages to it because I was so like uncomfortable in my home as a teenager. Like I just wanted to get the F out of there. And I was so desperate to do that. Like I just went, I started dating, went to my girlfriend's house all the time and then like ended up moving out with her when I was like 17 in with her parents kind of thing. It's a, probably another common thing that a lot of young people do, like just trying to get away, just trying to escape all the time. But then I realized like, this is like just too much. I've got to like sort myself out. I tried to go home. And then I wasn't home very long and then I got like kicked out. So then I'm like homeless and I have nowhere to go. And I'm, I'm also going through a traumatic breakup, which, which was also a pattern back then. Like I'd be going through something really big and my stepfather would just be like, don't care. You know, deal with the consequences of your actions with no guidance at all. And in fact, I'm going to kick you in the guts on the way out. That's how I felt in those moments in time. Oh. I'm still harboring anger for it, eh? No matter how much, like when will I let that go? It 
it is this though, this is it. This is like feeling like I didn't have that guidance. I can't stand when anybody comes to me and they say like, I have to do this because my mum's like this or my dad's like this, like they're gonna react like that. And I've got to walk on eggshells and I've got to make sure everything's nice and good and I've got to do this and I've got to support them in that way because it just like brings up this whole thing of like, my whole life I've had to be the adult, like I've had to like raise myself and raise my parents, like I've had to like not only deal with the consequences of having absolutely no guidance, but I've had to figure it all out and then like be the one that is like emotionally regulated and I'm the safe place and I'm the one that's not causing the problems and I'm all this, like it just annoys me so much that our, like so many people that I've come into contact with in this life have experienced that like we just had no guidance but like it's probably not helpful for me to just sit here and complain about it either like I'm acknowledging it because this is what's coming up and now like okay there's nothing you can't get out of it once you express it and acknowledge it like okay I've got to resolve this I can't just stay in this I can't just keep like hold on to this bitterness and resentment resentment's just coming up over and over again no matter how much you think you've healed and grown and you've transcended all of the things, like there's always more to learn and it's actually a beautiful thing. I guess as I'm contemplating this too, I'm realizing the importance of my role as somebody who didn't have that guidance in creating community and establishing connections with others. Because like I said in the past, I attracted a whole bunch of people just like me who were didn't have the guidance and we just went along with the absurdity and chaos and not knowing what to do. So it became a funny joke, like how much can we fuck it all up? Like how much can we make it a big mess? Because like not taking responsibility, feeling like a victim, that's kind of what you do. But now I've grown and I've learned and I, I want to help other people find their way. So I think meaning and purpose is so important. You find like where you want to be, you find what you want to do and then you find people that do it really well and you connect with them and you sort of redirect all of your focus onto the places where your curiosity is being fed, where you're like, your creativity is being fed, like all the, the positive things about you instead of like constantly being in this, these relationships where it's all about like maintenance and like survival and keeping everybody happy like if you've got to keep people happy like I would be exiting that like I would just be like not you don't have to even completely do it like you can still see people that are hard work but like you've got to finally give yourself that time to access things that are good for you like as once you start to access things that are good for you you can deal with that other stuff really well as I'm doing it all this stuff's coming up because I'm realizing, that's what happens. If you make your life better, you're always gonna look back and you're gonna go, oh shit. That's how I'm feeling in the present moment. Like I look at the past when I'm changing the future and I'm like, wow, that was actually really bad. But it didn't look bad to me until I knew better. So that's it, that, I guess that's like what's happening. But I'm just becoming more aware of it. Every time I make my life better, I, I know better. And then I look back and I go, what was that? What, what was I doing? And that feels like a lot. And I think that's something that I need to create more space for, just to feel like, oh, shit. The, like, because every time you do it, you know, I'm 32 now. So it's like, for the last 32 years, that, that's what I was living in. Okay, let's continue. When I'm 60, I might have a realization that, like, I'm not going to do it like that anymore. I'm going to do it like this. But then at that age, I'm going to be like, for the last 60 years, I've been doing it like that. Which just reinforces my whole, like, oh, like I want to say philosophy that you just want to focus on living life really well. Like, you, you don't want to waste time not pursuing, like, healing and well-being and growth. Because the the sooner I can release all of this unhealthy stuff the more years i have ahead of me and the less years i have behind me not that any of it really matters because you're always just right here in the present moment
So, yeah. All of this is kind of arbitrary in its own way, but at the same time feels totally significant because that's the paradox of life. <laughs> if you got anything out of these videos, please pass them on to anybody else you know who may benefit, the kind of people who do think deeply, who are trying to figure out the better way to move forward with their lives. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, click the like button for me, and I always love to see discussion in the comments below where while you're watching along, you're having your own realizations and you are brave enough to share those realizations with everybody else. Sometimes the comments are more enlightening and more empowering and more interesting, like more helpful for others than anything that I said. So thank you very much for everybody who does that.